First vlog with my new chair. What do you think? Hey guys, uh, this week's episode is going to be a little shorter than normal. Uh, I just wanted to come on and talk to you uh, about a nice little accomplishment that happened to me last month. Uh, for those of you who haven't followed me on social media lately, uh, I was presented with the Tegna Unsung Hero Award uh, last month at our uh, Tegna uh, Presentation Summit. Um, it was a credible experience uh, for those of you who don't know uh, about it or uh, haven't seen some of my previous posts. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and share a quick video of the presentation that they showed uh, during my uh, award presentation. So uh, before we get any further, here's a quick peek at the video. Our next unsung hero knows a lot about overcoming obstacles and persevering while never losing his infectious sense of humor. From KPNX in Phoenix, let's learn more about Gabe Trujillo. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon in the 12 newsroom and our social media team is busy, as we like to say, feeding the beast, making sure that our website and social media feeds are constantly updated. And Gabe Trujillo is one of the best. I am so proud of Gabe. I first met him years ago when he was a long-term resident of Phoenix Children's Hospital. And despite his paralysis, which was caused by a bad reaction to medication, Gabe had an unmistakable spark. I'm here and doing well. That years later, it would lead him to our newsroom. Overcoming adversity is a big part of uh, the success that I've experienced in my life. As a 14-year-old kid, to have a doctor come in and say, well, you're never going to walk again. I early on decided to take it upon myself to just take it in stride. Uh, you're not going to be able to change anything uh, with your current situation, but you can make the best of it. I'll never give up. So I decided to just put one wheel in front of the other and roll whatever life took me. Gabe. Gabe, you're a one of one of a kind talent in the Tegna family. We're so glad your father, David, can be with us here today. Thanks for everything you do for KPNX. Thanks, Mark, for telling us that great story. What an awesome story! It's a, it, you are an inspiration to all of us. Thanks for all you do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there it was. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed it and learned a little bit more about the award. Um, I just wanted to come on and sort of share my thoughts on receiving the award. Um, first and foremost, uh, I'm incredibly humbled and grateful uh, that the company that I worked for was able to um, recognize my skills and contributions uh, to the station that I'm at here locally in Phoenix. Um, it's an incredible honor. Uh, I really cherish it. Uh, but the award uh, definitely has to be shared. Uh, it's not just about me. Uh, any of my accomplishments that I received, uh, both personally or professionally, uh, are definitely due to a, a, an incredible group of people. Um, first off, uh, my family and friends, uh, for those of you that watched the video, uh, my dad was able to go out and experience uh, the award presentation with me. Um, without him and all of my other family members, uh, I wouldn't be able to accomplish uh, what I've done so far uh, in my career. Uh, they've helped me through a lot uh, ever since my initial illness way back in 97. Uh, they've been uh, an incredible rock and a pillar of support for me. Uh, without their help, uh, I definitely couldn't have achieved all that I've achieved uh, over the last 20 years. Uh, it's incredible to think that it's been over two decades since I first became a quadriplegic. Um, but it's things like this that uh, help me realize that all that I have accomplished and uh, there's still plenty for me to achieve 
um, not just career-wise, but personally as well. Um, like with the um, creation of this YouTube series, uh, hopefully I can share uh, in those experiences with you uh, and just give you guys a little bit more insight into my life as a person with a disability. Uh, also, along with my family and friends, um, since this is a professional um, award, uh, I couldn't have done this without an incredible team uh, over at 12 News. Uh, from everyone on the digital team uh, to all the people in the TV side, uh, everyone has made me feel comfortable from the minute I rolled into the newsroom. And uh, it's the incredible core of people that are there uh, that have made it such a, a fun place for me to work at. Everyone out ha has uh, accepted me with open arms and has been willing to uh, accommodate all my needs uh, to make sure that I was uh, feeling like a, a contributing member to the team. And I couldn't thank them enough. Uh, if any of those people are watching, uh, whether it's the digital side or anyone in the newsroom who works with me on a daily basis, uh, I just want to offer my thanks for uh, allowing me to be a, a part of your team. And as a person with a disability, uh, in inclusion is a, a big goal for, for me. Um, just to be a part of an everyday team like this uh, is very humbling and I'm incredibly grateful for it. Um, to be included in, in anything um, as a person with a disability. I know you, people don't really see people with disability in the workforce and hopefully uh, my interactions with them uh, will help them realize that we can be contributing members uh, to any workforce uh, if we're given the opportunity. And um, I've been afforded every opportunity uh, to succeed uh, in this newsroom and hopefully uh, it'll be for years to come and I'll take everything in um, every day that I come into the newsroom. Uh, it's easy to believe but I learn a lot uh, each and every day that I come in there and to interact and be a part of such an uh, incredible group of people um, both on the digital and TV side uh, is it, something that uh, I'm very grateful for and uh, will always cherish. Uh, so. This is just me, just want to take a few minutes to offer my thoughts and thanks um, for receiving such an incredible honor. Um, hopefully I, I do it justice and continue uh, to contribute to uh, this amazing product and group of people that we have here. Um, I'll go ahead and leave this as a bit of a plug, but if you want to follow all of our uh, incredible contributions and all the cool stuff we're doing at the station, uh, definitely go out to 12news.com and check it out and follow us on social media as well. Um, so that's it. Uh, that, that's all I wanted to put out there for you guys. Uh, for those of you that are still watching, thanks for watching and uh, for continuing to come back and check out these little vlogs that I'm doing. Um, they've been kind of sporadic lately, but uh, still just trying to think up of uh, interesting topics to talk to you guys about and uh, hopefully we'll continue to go on. If you have any questions or if there's any topics that you'd like for me to cover, um, definitely throw them down in the comments below uh, and I'll try and come up with uh, an upcoming vlog uh, for that subject. Uh, again, that's it, but uh, thanks for watching and talk to you guys soon. You, get, you guys can ignore this section. I'm just filming this here, uh, so there's some stuff that can pop up for the end credits. Uh, hopefully you're gonna be seeing some related links that you guys can visit uh, and hopefully watch uh, some more content. Until then, see you guys later.